Running a ceiling fan can reduce the energy used by your air conditioner by up to 40%. For more information on energy-saving products and projects, just visit Lowe's.com slash energy. These Energy Star appliances really save you big bucks. Lowe's, let's build something together. Roll stability control. Cornering brake control. Patented terrain response. Despite the probability that you won't, the LR2 is designed for the possibility that you will. The all-new 2008 Land Rover LR2. Starting at 34.7. Visit your local Land Rover center. Uh... What kind of music do you usually have here? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. <laughs> that great quote from the Blues Brothers. It's a country music night here at Wrigley Field. And we're in the 13th inning. Somebody's going to go home with an achy, breaky heart tonight. I know that. We're facing Richie Sexton. After Sexton, it's Jojima and then Vidro. Inside corner strike, one and one. And then coming back, a foul off to the right. We actually got away with a fastball there. Michael Bear wanted that pitch in on his fist. We've seen Richie Sexton get jammed several times tonight on fastballs on the inside corner. That ball straight out over the plate. Fortunately, Sexton just fouled it away. And that sets up a one two pitch. You think Kelly Pickler's still here? I'm not sure. He's probably still looking for the Apple Jacks. Ground ball. Charged by Terrio. And we're getting close to a potential 14th inning stretch. But you can handle it. Boy, if you needed any more incentive to end this ball game in the bottom <laughs> of the 13th, that's it right there. Yeah. Yeah. Outside on Jojima. without a hit in extras they did have a walk with two outs in a 12th inning but that's been it for their base runners Dempster gave up a hit no runs in the ninth the last time they scored was in the fourth inning on the Jared Washburn go ahead RBI single there's something about that last swing by Kenji Jojima made Michael Bear want to go out to the mound and have a word with his pitcher Will Oman. Georgia, a real good high fastball hitter, very quick bat as he showed, pulling that ball way foul down the third baseline. Maybe they want to rethink their approach here the remainder of this at bat. Will with a 1 1 pitch. He's ahead 1 and 2. Straight change up that time from Will Oman. That's a pitch he's probably only thrown a handful of times all season long. And when it looks like a hitter's being overly aggressive, really trying to get the bat head out in front of the plate, that's a good pitch to throw him, that straight changeup. One-two slider, and that spins around Jojima. Tag applied by Barrett. And 
And the stellar bullpen work continues. Rich Hill had a quality start tonight. Three earned runs in six and two thirds. He gave up eight hits, one walk, struck out four, allowed one home run. No runs allowed since by Cubs pitching. Switch it to Pedro batting right handed. For a slider here, high in the air and well hit. Soriano watches it. It goes off the fines. Didn't get out. Cubs get a break. That ball almost got out. It stayed in barely. Boy, Vidro missed a home run by a couple of feet. Just enough wind to keep this one in the ballpark down and in Vidro golfs it toward the left field corner. You can see how high it hits on the vines here just below the basket. Oh, big time break right there that ball looked like it was headed for Waveland Avenue off the bat just got out there and died. It's near the top of the wall. And with the angle of the basket you know I, that, that ball was very very close to getting out. Well, another foot or two and it would have been a home run. Lou Pinella is going to come out. Betancourt the right handed hitting shortstop is due up. They have Sean Gallagher ready out in the bullpen. And we'll see what Lou's thinking. And the possibility of a walk to Betancourt right here with two outs in the inning. Willie Bloomquist, who came into the ball game late tonight. Unieski Betancourt, a 293 hitter against right handed pitching, 349 against lefties. Bloomquist in the on deck circle, 261 against righties, 250 against lefties, and Bloomquist with uh, considerably fewer at bats. So, gotta believe they're gonna walk Betancourt and put it on Bloomquist. That's exactly what's going to happen. Here's ball two. Bettencourt reaches. It will be Will Oman against Willie Bloomquist. Two outs. We're in the 13th inning. We have not seen any runs in extras. And it's the first time the Mariners have had two men on since we've gone to extra innings. First time either team, in fact, has had two on. So the first pitch coming up to Bloomquist. Ball one. He needs to throw strikes here. He needs to keep the ball down. Bloomquist, a good high ball hitter. And on the hands, fouled away. Bloomquist, a third round pick out of Arizona State in 1999. His three year college career at ASU, he hit 394. Veed <laughs> wrote second, Benton Court at first, and a 1 1. Base hit into right. Jones is up with it. They're going to try to score, a little hesitation. And Michael dropped the ball. Pedro steps on the plate. Jose Pedro was hesitating. He was not going all out. 
between third and home. But Michael could not handle the throw. And Seattle gets the lead. It's four to three. Well, you got a lot of things going on there. Uh, the first one is I was watching Bedro. He was not going all out. And he didn't even slide. And he missed home plate on the initial try. Michael Barrett, however, missed the throw home by Jock Jones. Jock really took a long time to unload that ball to home plate. Tough bounce for Barrett to handle. He couldn't come up with it. That gave Vidro enough time to get back on the plate. So an RBI single for Bloomquist. And now they're going to walk Ichiro. Boy, they had such a great shot to get Jose Vidro. But he got in on the second try. Jamie Burke will bat for O'Flaherty. Pedro goes hard from second to third base. Just kind of slowed up right there. Wasn't sure if he was going to try to score or not. Decides to go ahead and go home, and it works out for the Mariners. Put a lot of indecision there. Yeah. Both on Jock Jones' part in right field and Jose Pedro, the base runner. Well, the bottom line is Pedro gave the Cubs a chance to get him. Base is loaded. And a two ball, no strike count. So Bloomquist makes the Cubs pay for intentionally walking Betancourt to get to him. With the first base open. Two and one. Well, the Mariners have been so good in their final at bat, these close games, they have continued to win. They get another run in what they hope is their final at bat tonight. Cubs still get a shot at it. Derek Lee off his glove. Omen late over to first. Probably didn't matter. They get a run to make it five to three. And it's an RBI single for Burke. And that's it for Will Oman. Two in for the Mariners. Sean Gallagher called on. We'll be right back. Imagine a car with the same fuel economy as Camry, but with a lot more power. The Pontiac G6. Or cross over to Torrent. More power than Escape. With the same gas mileage. The new Pontiac. Designed for action. Every 2007 G6 comes with the best coverage in America. And a great starting at price, too. For more information, visit PontiacDrive.com. The neighbor's dog had pups. And he was kind enough to give one to my daughter, Molly. <laughs> now we're off to get food, bowls, chew toys, a brush, bedding... Which reminds me of something my father once told me. There is no such thing as a free puppy. Time to sit, stay, and save at Tractor Supply. Through June 24th, get a $20 gift card when you buy $50 of pet products. Like an AKC kennel, pedigree dog food, or tidy cat litter. The stuff you need out here is in here. Tractor Supply. It's designed to outperform your expectations. Your sense of speed. Your idea of luxury. 
at last of all, designed to outperform all your other choices. Presenting the Edmunds.com editor's most wanted sedan for under 45000 The M. From Infinity. Now lease an Infinity M for four nineteen dollars a month. Dad deserves a break. Feldco's offering free installation this week only. Happy Father's Day, Dad, from Feldco. Call 866 for Feldco. Well, this is how the Mariners get their insurance run. And again, Will Oman late in getting over to first base. Because that ball was so far behind first and got off the glove of Derek Lee, I don't know if it would have mattered that he got over there in time. But the hesitation there and now Sean Gallagher trying to get that third out and it's been elusive here in this inning everything Bob starting with two outs the double by Vidro and the last four after that have reached Jose Guillen fouling off well, it almost looked like that pitch hit him on the check swing but it didn't really sound like it was wood when it went back but it must have hit that handle. And we talk a lot about the big home run in extra innings a lot of guys trying to maybe do too much at the plate not sure if that's the problem with the Cubs or not but more often than the big home run in extra innings it comes down to a mistake either a misplay a mental mistake a physical error a lot more extra inning ball games are won or lost because of mistakes rather than heroic home runs. Not sure if Will Loman would have been able to beat Burke to first base on that hard hit ball anyway. It was going to be a tough play for Derek Lee after he knocked down the line drive, but we'll never know. In the hole, backhanded stop, throw to second. They get the out. Nice play by Terrio getting it to Fontenot for the force out, but the damage has been done. Bottom 13, Cubs need at least two. A shift has been made, and the legendary Nissan Pathfinder is reborn with the most powerful V8 in its class. The Nissan Armada and 9,100 pounds of trailer now go wherever you go. And going to extremes is a whole lot easier with the Nissan Xterra. The shift has been made, and when you think advanced, powerful adventure machines, think Nissan. Dad deserves a break. Felco's offering free installation this week only. Call 866-4-FPL-DCO. This Father's Day, give Dad something he can open again and again. Feldco is offering free installation. Save thousands on replacement windows with no interest or payments till next year. Call for a free estimate and free installation. Free installation and Sunday. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866-4-FELDCO. Recently, car enthusiasts in L.A. and D.C. compared Camry, Accord, and the all-wheel drive Ford Fusion. In performance, handling, and styling, one car came in first, Ford Fusion. Now drivers across the country are weighing in. On Yahoo Autos, an independent research site, users gave the Ford Fusion a higher overall rating than the top two imports in its class. Take the Ford Challenge. See why Fusion is the better choice. Visit your Ford dealer or go to FordChallenge.com. So the kids are still up and hoping the Cubs can rally in the bottom of the 13th. The Mariners taking a 5 to 3 lead. It's going to be tough, Bob. This guy's really good. JJ puts 31 strikeouts against only five base on balls in 29 and a third innings pitch. You see the opponent's batting average of 125. Right, he's hitting only 0 65. Cubs need a base runner just to put the tying run at the plate. Over Putt's last four appearances, he thrown a total of four innings, have gotten a save in each one of those appearances. Seven strikeouts, only one base hit. He's from Trenton, Michigan. Joseph. Jason puts sixth round pick out of the University of Michigan in 1999. 
Going yeah. to Jock Jones. Swing and a miss. Two strikes. Vicious splitter. 85 miles an hour. Same arm action. Same arm speed as his fastball that he throws in the mid to upper 90s. The bottom just drops out of that pitch. If the M's hang on, it would be five straight last at bat victories. Man, that's a streak that will stop at some point. But boy, when you get in one of those streaks where it seems like you have a different hero every night, somebody coming up with a big base hit when you need it the most, you really start to believe that you can find ways to win a game late. Sampling for JJ against JJ. One for three, the one base hit was a single. Kick in the pitch. Got it. One out. Two seam fastball right on the outside corner to Jock Jones. Terrio batting, no hits on the night, 0 for 3, but he has walked twice and has stolen a base. The producer of Cubs baseball here on Comcast Sportsnet, Bob Albrecht. Our director, Dave Turner. Tamara Anderson is our associate producer. Christine Charbonneau, our stage manager in the booth. Joe Vinci, our technical director. The executive producer of Cubs baseball on Comcast Sportsnet. Jim Corno, Jr. Great tireless work by our entire crew. Miguel Batista, Sean Marshall tomorrow night. Jeff Weaver, Jason Marquis on Thursday. Ryan Terrio with a solid single to right. Cubs still with a pulse here. Ryan Terrio, we know he does not give up in at bat. It doesn't matter what the game situation. Drives that ball through the right side, setting it up for Felix P.A. Mike Fontenot, the next two hitters for the Cubs. Again, post game live coming up following the ball game. Low ball one on PA. The pitchers of record right now, O'Flaherty and Omen. Street at 95. One ball, one strike. The foul pole flags doing nothing. The flags are a little higher atop the scoreboard, blowing ever so gently in. Terry with a quick word with Matt Sinatra, the first base coach. And the closer for the Mariners is a little slow in his delivery to home plate. Looks like Ryan Terry has a pretty good read on his delivery to the plate. His run certainly is not that important, but it would take the double play out of the equation. He does not go, and PA singles the other way. 
Couple of opposite field hits. The Cubs doing the proverbial kicking up of the heels in the bottom of the 13th. And it's the first time they've strung together back to back hits and extras. Good approach by both Terrio and PA just trying to stay on the ball drive it to the opposite field if you try to swing as hard as Putz is throwing the ball you're going to end up fouling a lot of them straight back and swinging and missing. Good controlled quick swing go with the pitch. So the youngsters here trying to start up a rally. Terrio PA and now Fontenot. Just in case Scott Ayer is going to start to warm in the bullpen. Has a sign. Here he comes on a 1-0. One and one. If you had to pick two runners on the Cubs roster to represent the fourth and fifth runs of this ball game, it would be Ryan Terrio and Felix PA. Hopefully Fonno can find a gap. One one pitch. One and two. Remember, puts perfect and save opportunities here in 07. 18 out of 18, going back to last year, 20 for 20. Quick look at second. Another one. And the kick in a 1 2. The four hour mark tonight. We're in the 13th inning. The Mariners scored two in the top of this frame to get the lead. Busted bat floater. And the catch by Pedro. And it's up to Alfonso Soriano. So what's left of this audience tonight. They want to see Soriano win it with one swing. Soriano 0 for 5 on the night. 2 for 7 lifetime against the Mariners closer. Marty Foster is going to break up the meeting. Now Joe Jim heading back behind the plate. Terrio at second. PA is at first. Two down, bottom of the 13th. Zambrano pinch hit in the 11th instead. And we look for one pitch here. 
A 2-0 to Soriano. I wouldn't say they're working around Soriano, but they definitely don't want to give him anything he can handle. Yeah, he's trying to stay out of the middle of the plate. Started him with a split finger fastball, missed with a fastball in on that last pitch. Alfonso had a three homer game in Atlanta and cooled off lately over his last 16. Ball four, bases loaded. Well, while they work around Soriano, now if Coy Hill can single, there's a good chance to tie it. Base is loaded. And once again, great speed at third and second. As a matter of fact, great speed all the way around the bases for the Cubs right here. Rafael Chavez going out. Ichiro shading over into left center just a little bit. I don't think the Mariners believe Coy Hill can pull the fastball against the Mariners closer, so they're going to shade him a little bit the other way. Guillen playing extremely deep in right field. So this is it. Lou has emptied his bench. With one last chance. Three men on, two down. As you said, Bob, Cubs have all the speed they want on the bases. Tying runs, I mean, Terrio easily would score. PA at second, and then you have Soriano, the potential winning run at first base. The pitch to Coy Hill. The Cubs have really waited out JJ Puts. As I mentioned, when he came into ball game, he's not a guy that uh, usually walks a lot of hitters. Generally, very aggressive within the strike zone. Good swing that time at an elevated fastball, 94 miles an hour, fouled it straight back. Coyle for his last nine. A 1 1 on the way. Chopper to Sexton. The flip to Putz, he steps on first. Cubs leave him loaded in the 13th inning. And lose again in extras. They're now one and six in extra innings, including one and five here at home. Mariners win it with two in the 13th. And Putz stays perfect. 19 for 19 and save chances. Our Nissan drive of the game will go all the way back 10 innings ago. Jose Guillen with his eighth home run of the year. It was the only ball that left the yard here tonight. But the game winning hit belonging to Willie Bloomquist, an RBI single in the 13th inning. As the Mariners win again in their last at bat, that's five consecutive wins all in their last at bat. Another tough loss, a close one for the Cubs tonight, Bob. Uh, a tough loss, no question about it. You really do have to tip your cap to that Mariners bullpen. Got six innings out of their starter, Jared Washburn. Sean Green did give up one run in an inning plus of work, but all zeros after that for everybody that came in from the Mariners bullpen. So that'll do it for our game coverage. Stay tuned for post game live. The final score once again in 13, the Mariners five, the Cubs three. In game scoring provided by Scorepad. Now for Bob Brenly and our entire crew, this is Len Casper. You've been watching Chicago Cubs baseball on Comcast Sportsnet. Good night from the ballpark.
long night with a tough finish. Hi, everyone. Luke Stuckmeyer here. Coming up after the break, Dan Plezak joins me for Cubs Post Game Live. We will hear from Lou Pinella live at Wrigley Field. Dan will break down the missed opportunities out there tonight. Stick around. Cubs Post Game Live coming up next.